1994, my father died of a aortic dissection. I didn't know what that was. Um, I'd not heard of it before. About eight years after my father's dissection, I had one too. He tore his aorta during a martial artist class. No one knew that's what it was. He had a lot of back pain. I took him to the hospital. When this pit crew of doctors and nurses descended on me, in the back of my head, somehow I thought this is not survivable. We were all very scared. Neil especially. We both watched our father die of this. And when I heard them say that, aortic dissection, I assumed the same thing was gonna to happen to him. Ultimately, I was in such bad shape. I needed the surgery. Uh, and I was the first person I know to have survived it. But your aorta supplies blood to your spine. They're close together. And unfortunately, his spine did not have uh, any any blood for, for several hours. And it left him paralyzed. Neil was very angry for about three years while he was trying to deal with all of this and what had happened. And I think slowly over time, you know, he was able to accept it and create a new life for himself. He re-enrolled in college, um, worked in a, a lab, uh, he loved all of his scientific research. I think that helped him through a lot of his recovery. I survived this. I have all this. It has to make sense. Make it make sense. So what do you do? Well, I, I heard about the John Ritter Foundation's uh, research project, collecting DNA from people that survived aortic aneurysms and aortic dissections. So I volunteered for that. They sent me a kit. I spit in this tube sent it off and they ran my DNA. 2013, they sent me this. So this is a chromatogram of my DNA. And this red arrow is the exact change that has been running in my family. The John Ritter Foundation asked if there's anyone else they should test. And they tested my mom, they tested my sister. And then I asked if they could test my family in India. And they packed up several kits, sent them to India and Everyone on that side of the family knows their status now. They never ask for anything in return. Who does that? Neil wanted to give back and he wanted to help other people. So he saw an email come through and he applied to be an aortic advocate. Went to the aorta advocate training program in Colorado for Camp Purpose. I met a great cardiologist there. I used to get routine uh, CTs and MRIs for aorta surveillance. I did, let, let, I did let that lapse for a couple of years. I booked an appointment with this cardiologist and the new patient echo that he routinely does showed I had a 4.8 centimeter aortic root. He asked, well, you know, what would you like to do about this? And I told him the most important thing in my life is my life. As I was driving home all the way from Houston, I'm driving home and I'm processing this and I'm thinking, I really wasn't that scared. And I don't know why. I thought, well, I should have been more scared. Why wasn't I so scared? Why wasn't I scared? And then it hit me. I was in the right room. And so Neil followed through. He could have died at any time in that process. Had he not found this organization and the amazing doctors they had, he wouldn't have survived. I joined the Aorta Advocate group because I wanted to help people. And it turned out one of the first people I helped was myself. I do feel a little guilty about that, but that's how it shook out. We are able to survive and overcome very devastating things with the help of community. And I think the John Ritter Foundation helps us create that and cultivate that community and gives us that, that awareness. We are a network of people willing to lend our stories and experiences to other people that are now going through this. Every research study they do, every experiment they run, teaches us another thing I can do to help myself, to help our uh, referrals from the Aortic Advocate Program. This is survivable and there's stuff you can do.
And then once you're through it, you have the rest of your life. I choose to use that to um, help other people that are going through that same thing because I didn't have that. You know, I didn't have that when I needed it and I have it now. So why waste that? You know, I can give that to somebody. I'm so grateful. I'm just so grateful for everything that the John Ritter Foundation has done for him. I mean, they literally saved his life.